Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries. Uh, you know the deal, John 8, 12. This is not a Bible study. This is kind of like, uh, eh, well, it's almost comedy. Well, maybe it is comedy, but it's really not funny. Um, this is, there was a woman's group and they had a guest speaker come about, uh, you know, uh, marriage, talking about marriage. You know, most of these women have been married for decades. And, um, well, here's, here's the deal. So the group, all the, uh, the, the lady that was leading the group, uh, she asked the women, she said, how many of you love your husbands? And all the women raised their hands. Then they were all asked, when was the last time you told your husband you loved him? A few women answered today, a few yesterday, and some couldn't even remember the last time that they told their husband they loved him. The women were all told, take out your cell phones and text their husbands the following message. I love you, sweetheart. Type it out, send. Next thing, the women were, were instructed to exchange phones with one another and then to read aloud the text message that they would receive in response to their message. Below are 11 replies. Uh, if you've been married for quite a while, you understand that these replies are a sign of, quote, true love, unquote. Who else would reply in such a honest way? One, who the hell is this? <laughs> I'm like, really? Uh, number two, A, mother of my children. Are you sick or what? Number three, yeah, and I love you too. So what's wrong? Number four, what now? Did you wreck the car again? Number five, I don't understand what you mean. Six, what the hell did you do now? <laughs> Gosh. Number seven, don't beat around the bush. Just tell me how much you need. Number eight, am I dreaming? Number nine, if you don't tell me who this message is actually for, someone is going to die. Number 10, I thought we agreed you wouldn't drink during the day. And number 11, did you lose your phone? Yeah. Oh, well, what can I tell you? Um, you know, it's sad, the state of the United States, well, Europe, too, and uh, marriage. Oh, boy. What can I tell you? And here's a good one. Ephesians 5.24 Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. But then in Ephesians 5.28, Paul writes, So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. Wow. And with a final note, Colossians 3.19. Husbands, love your wives. Uh, and it, that's not telling us to have multiple uh, wives. No, no, no. It, husbands, plural, love your wives, plural. As in, you know, husband, love your wife. But referring to everybody because uh, Paul writes that uh, a bishop should be the husband of one wife 
So, yeah. Multiple wives is multiplying your trouble. Husbands, love your wives and be not bitter against them. Good advice. So, all righty. I thought everybody might enjoy this. I know I enjoyed it, but sadly, that's the, mo the modern um, mindset nowadays. So, all right. Glory to Jesus. Amen.